Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here from How Engineers Do It and uh, in this tutorial we will be continuing with uh, curved vein design and uh, let's go back and have a look at the completed design and here is the work in progress. So we have constrained the spline and now we can define invert object for the geometric set here and just make sure that you're changing the name of this as maybe construction element c-o-n-s-t will be fine now we can select this face and extract the face for extracting the face you need to go to wireframe and surface design and then extract the face click on ok and select this sketch here and project the sketch along a direction and the direction should be this plane and the support should be this extract and click on preview and that would uh, actually create or project that particular curve to the surface click on ok now select this project and go for the split and split the curve with respect to the CX plane. Now we have only one particular uh, one part of the curve being projected. We can actually so double click on the split and click on the other side if you would like to work on this side. If you work on that or this side it's all the same but just for the convenience or the way that uh, Katia keeps the default window we'll just work on this side. Now we can hide this and uh, we can uh, create another plane. So to create that plane you can click on the plane and go for right click and put XY plane and go for the offset as ATMM and click on preview and click on OK. So that creates a plane on top of this sur cylindrical surface. Now we can select that plane and click on the sketch click on the sketch and now you can project this point to 3d and make sure that it's a construction point and uh, then you can project this circular sketch over here and then you can hide this what you can do now is select the axis axis line and select this particular point here and just draw a line you can just simply draw a line and then you can use the constraint command and select these two line and make sure that it's a tangent this is done so so that we can create a line which is in fact perpendicular over here so to draw a perpendicular line with respect to a circular surface we first need to create a tangential line there so now we can draw another line and just draw it in a random way and then you can constrain it make sure that it's perpendicular and now what you can do is use the profile tool press the shift key and just simply complete the sketch make sure they are not construction lines and now we can select the construction uh, the constraint and again constrain this as parallel and this face is parallel as well and now constrain this and this line as parallel as well and finally constrain this and this as parallel as well now you can give a depth of 20 mm here and here you can give 2 mm thickness so here again the profile runs back so we need to keep the profile in the center point over here so what you can do is just uh, 
create a line let it be anywhere and trim this that's not what I meant trim this using the this trim and now you can make this line parallel to this line this line parallel to this line you can even give coincidence and also finally you can select this point and this line and go for midpoint and that profile will come and stand uh, right over there so we don't need this much of uh, projection you can pull it back and also you can select this line and give us construction element now we'll just make sure that this is a closed sketch and finally in the next step we need to move this or run this profile through this guide curve which we will do in our next part of the tutorial so i hope you enjoyed stay tuned